heard you were a teacher. Where did you teach at? Everyone, to ladies and gentlemen, to the 8th Annual DCSRA Dinner and Auction. Please join me in thanking the people who worked so diligently to produce tonight's dinner and auction. Team Terry Lang! I would like to acknowledge the presence of many dignitaries. None, not the least of which is Andrea D'Alessandro, our senator. And uh, Michelle Manos, LD chair. Jonathan Mosher, did I kill your name, Jonathan? That's it, Jonathan. Jonathan Mosher, he's running for um, a county attorney. And uh, also, Billy Beard, who's running for uh, the House. Rosanna <laughs> Gabavon could not be with us tonight. She had a previous engagement, but she did buy a ticket for somebody. And uh, she also donated an item in the, that's in our silent auction. Thank you. <laughs> Steve Diamond is also here. He's running for county supervisor. And um, Daniel Hernandez is traveling around the world. So he, he can't be anywhere but there. So apparently this isn't part of the world he's traveling to, but it sounds, sounds good. Where in the world is Daniel Hernandez? Okay. Well, I know where I am. I'm Matthew Boyd, the president of the Democratic Club of the Santa Rita area. This is our eighth annual auction fundraiser. So if you thought you were at some other event, this is the time that you can leave. I am your master of ceremonies. My job is to talk to you. Your job is to listen. If you finish first, please let me know. The DCSRA dinner and auction started at Emilio's, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, at 2012, and then at the Lavenders, and then on to our current location here. We have stayed here because the facility and staff are so helpful and cooperative. Let's give them a big hand. DCSRA headquarters opened in spring of 2010, and they voted annually to keep it open. And in 2013, they decided to keep the headquarters. In 2014, the board got permission to keep headquarters open contingent on adequate funding. That has been the club's number one priority concerning funding. So we have grown now <clears throat> so that we support Democratic candidates, bring informative speakers, support union activities, help serve, help service organizations, and provide a meeting place for progressive organizations. So when you bid on an item, you are not just getting another piece of fun, you are supporting people who share your values, people who serve in government, or work in the mines, or volunteering in the community in so many ways. You are creating the future of the democratic love of the Santa Rita area as a hub for these activities. Activities like the evening with Corrine Jean Pierre. Yeah, I murdered that, didn't I? Please take note of the save date on your table. You should have one of these. Here with us tonight to bring excitement is the accomplished rancher, Dean Fish. He doesn't herd fish, wise guy. Uh, his name is Fish, Dean Fish. He's a master rancher. Actually, he's a doctor of ranching and that he has a PhD from the University of Arizona in the field. Again, not that field, in his field of expertise. Okay. Uh, while he's a recognized ecological rancher, he is also a fought after, a sought after, a 
fire. Okay. It's not easy. He's also a sought-after auctioneer. With us tonight to put the fun in fundraising in Arizona-born, bred and raised, Dean Fish. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for allowing me to be part of this tonight. Matthew, I'm looking forward to working with you tonight. Um, again, we are going to put the fun in fundraising. And um, we may pick on you a little bit, but it's all in good fun. Um, and you know why you're here. Matthew outlined a need, so what, what we're doing here, you know why we're here. We're also going to ask you for money to do those things, because that stuff isn't free. And so, again, we're going to have, we've got eight items that we'll go through, and we'll give it, and we'll have another opportunity for giving at the end. Um, I've got two gentlemen that are going to help me tonight. I have Pat, they call him Peabody, he's a Tucson tycoon, Pat Chacon. He is a uh, Pima County native. He grew up in the 4-H FFA program. He currently works in the education field in Marana. So, Pat, thank you for being here. I have Paul Ramirez. Paul Ramirez is a world champion auctioneer. He is also the owner and founder of a magazine called Western Ag Life, which celebrates agriculture and positive stories about the Western lifestyle. Um, it's online and, and so forth. And so, Paul's... Uh, a very, very accomplished man, and so thankful to have him here. So, this deal is going to work real easy. So, just wave, wink, think about bidding, and we'll put you in. <laughs> Let one of these guys know, um, and we'll get, we'll, we'll get you in there. Um, it's just like voting in Texas, you do it early and often. <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, okay, so. Let's go. go on to our first item. Yeah, let's talk about okay. what's our first item. Uh, I'm going to introduce the items and then I'm going to hand it over to the professionals. 